Good morning and good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this latest CYA training. Hope you've all got your packs at the ready. We are going to be looking at a Brazilian regulation this time round, which is critical for everybody to understand. It's a new piece of regulation just come out. I sent you details beforehand, so we're going to crack right on and make sure that we can get through this in the time that we have allotted. So, Richard? So Christian, um, I do have my iPad prepared. But um, Christian, I recorded a little vignette that I wanted to play for the group this morning. It's less than two minutes long. I think you'll find it entertaining. So do you think I could just borrow two minutes before we get started? Richard, look, we're on a very, very tight time scale here. We've got to get through this material. We just don't have that sort of time, and that's highly unorthodox. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to move on. Paragraph one then, everybody, if we have a look at this, you can okay. see this right. Christian. Richard? Yeah, I'm just going to mute my audio and video. There's a little bit of um, background noise here. I don't want to disrupt anyone, so continue. Uh, okay, Richard, you don't need to let me know every time you mute, but thank you anyway. So proceed with this paragraph one. We're looking at Brazil. That's great. I just got and the Economist. The nice world. article. Office politics. The fight over the future of work. Maybe I'm going to read this and send it to compliance officer Christian. Good morning and good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this latest installment of the CYA training. If you, if you can grab your iPads, we're going to be going through a Brazilian regulation which has just come out and is highly relevant to all of you. Richard, yes, hello. Christian, I'm really looking forward to the training. But over the weekend, I made a short video for you and the group. So if you can give me, I think it's just about two minutes to show this video, I think it'd be a nice way to kick off the CYA training. Would you mind? Richard, it's highly unorthodox. This is compliance training, but since it's you, since you are so nicely, and since you only need two minutes, I'll let you do that. Well, as they say, let's roll the video. Well, hello, compliance Christian. If we're watching this, it means you were nice enough just to give me a few minutes before the CYA training. So hello from a nice New England Sunday. And I was working out this morning and a couple of things came to mind. So I thought I'd talk about it for a minute. So I had a nice workout this morning. Here are my weights. I'm not gonna tell you at my age if I'm using the heavy ones or the light ones. But over here, you see my smoothie, so I have plenty of vitamins and stay well hydrated during my routine. We don't wanna to be touching our faces these days, so there's my crumpled workout towel. And for some of the movements, to make sure I'm not too putting too much pressure on my knees, I've got a mat over here. So what I came to realize as I was hydrating, as I was making sure I was keeping my hands away from my face, that compliance is more than just regulations and the CYA training. It's about staying healthy. It's about good health, well-being, and safety. And over here, not to score too many brownie points, is my iPad just inviting me to open it so I can make sure that I read all of the regulatory paperwork that you sent over so I could be well prepared for today's CYA training. So with that said, thank you again for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about how I'm thinking about compliances, how it impacts our lives, not just the regulatory aspects of it. So thanks for the inspiration, Christian, and I'm looking forward to this week's CYA training. So Richard, that's your two minutes up and you've come in just on time. And you know what? I we didn't know what to expect. I took a little bit of a risk there, but that was actually really good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you very much for setting up this session so nicely. Well, thank you, Christian. I have to say that the CYA training has tapped into my creativity and my motivation. So beside that, it was a lot of fun to film it. I really meant what I said. I'm thinking about compliance in our world as much more than policies, rules, and procedures. So Christian, this is me thanking you. Well, look, Richard, and in this hybrid world that we're living in, I think we should think about more of these ways that we can collaborate. And speaking of which, I've got a new member of staff that's just joined. Uh, she lives pretty close to where you are. So one of the things I'll pick up offline with you is perhaps she could come around at a socially distanced, obviously, and have some conversations with you to get some further inspiration to see how we can work together. Would that work? 
Christian, that sounds like a great idea. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll get back to the CYA training. I don't want to distract or disrupt anymore, but I'll look forward to having that chat with you. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Let's crack on then with this Brazilian regulation, paragraph one. So Richard, not for the first time, former Richard interrupts a CYA training with an unorthodox intervention, but this time he does it in front of the whole class. What were you thinking and what was the inspiration for that? So the inspiration, Christian, was an article, actually a series of articles, part of which was in The Economist on office politics. The Financial Times has had some great writing on this about how our new norm, our way of working is rapidly evolving, but how we are thinking about our way of working is not evolving as quickly. Yet this is an opportunity, as we just demonstrated, where we can revive weak ties that might occur due to hybrid working, remote working, and we can really inspire collaboration and cooperation across the organization. And that might mean taking a few chances, experimenting a little bit, and thinking about the enterprise as not here's compliance and here's commercial, but how can we co-create content that inspires everyone? And I think as we demonstrated here, this was a real win, real win-win where it wasn't really hierarchy or titles that inspired it. It was just our willingness to try to work together to have a wonderful outcome. So that's former commercial Richard. What do you think, Christian? Look, on the face of it, what's the objective of compliance training? The answer is to give people the information that they need. And for that, you need an attentive audience. So I think it's really interesting when you've got the business being willing to participate and support compliance training, that's a great sign. So the risk I took wasn't that great. I'm handing over to you. You're making sure that all of the audience is paying attention because you're their boss. So of course they're gonna listen. And you handed me back an audience that was paying attention that had a positive thing to say about compliance. So for me, that's a great thing to do. And I think we've got to start experimenting with new ways of doing things. And compliance, I think, needs to really remember that the training you give is a really important marketing tool for your function because the tone of that training doesn't just impact how people receive that content. It impacts how they think of you as a function. If you look like you're collaborative, you're friendly, you're engaging, people are more likely to speak to you. You don't know which member of the audience is gonna need to come and speak to you on an issue. Much better that they all have a sense that you're positive, engaged, and you're trying to work with the business than thinking you're some sort of distant individual who just shouts rules at them. So it was great fun to do from my perspective. Started the session off really well. And hey, everybody will have been listening and they'll be talking about this session like no other CYA training. And Christian, we also sparked a derivative by taking that chance and allowing co-collaboration and um, some creativity there is under normal circumstances, your onboarding of someone on your compliance team who resides in the New York area, you're gonna bring that person to London and you're gonna do all the training and onboarding, everything that you need to do based on sort of the physical structure of where that needed to occur where this short vignette sparked an idea for you to say, you know what, being that you two are closer to each other and I don't have the opportunity to do this in person, well, Richard, maybe you can serve a little bit as my ambassador and help with that process as well. So now we can really think about how we cooperate based on where skill sets are, not necessarily by the, brick, the bricks and mortar of it all. So with that said, we've used Brazil as our CYA country of the week, so to speak. So speaking of Brazil, I had a wonderful event with the LEC team a few weeks ago. So I'd like to thank Daniela, Patricia, and Calais, as well as the entire LEC team for a wonderful event. And we're wishing all of our friends, peers, and colleagues in Brazil continued good health, well-being and safety until we see you again.